So I was over here today because I wanted to show you. I got some new pillow covers half off at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to show you them real quick. All right, so these are the new pillow covers I got. I picked up a plain just pillow cover, again, half off. So this was only $2.74. This is just a plain linen color. Um, it's a bit different than my plain linen right here. This is really soft. I made this one myself, but I figured I could do a project with this. It's already put together, has a zipper and everything. So that's really nice, pretty cheap. And I'll just end up creating my own design on this. So that will be for later. Then I picked up this one here with $12.99. So about six, six, seven dollars or something. I wanted to just go ahead and put these ones on. It has tassels on four corners. So the pattern, I'll try to get up a little closer here. It's just this gray and white, really pretty design. On the back, it's plain gray, and then it has these really cute, like, yarn, thin yarn tassels. I'm obsessed. I think it looks so cute. And it's great. It has a whole zipper and everything. So I feel like that's a pretty good price for a pillow cover. I figured I'd put this one over this striped one because I already have a striped one over here. And I don't want matching anything matching. So I'm just going to sh literally shove this in there. Quick, like, tip or trick is to always try to get your pillows a little bit bigger than the pillow cover so that it's nice and fluffy. This one has like several pillow covers on the pillow. So it's, to me, it's fine. So cute. Then I had got this one here, $10.99. So this was about five, six bucks. I don't know what type of design that would be called, but I like the blue and the white. I think they're really pretty. I think this will kind of bring more of a like contemporary feel in my home. I'm not going for full blown contemporary, but wanting to mix in a bunch of decor styles. So everything doesn't feel so like a store anymore. I want mix and match. So I'm kind of slowly moving out of so much boho and whatnot. I love this pillow cover, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over that. I'm literally just gonna shove it in there. I don't really like want to take all my pillow covers off because then you got to store them somewhere, and I figured this is just easier just to put this over top. I think it's just preference on what you want to do. Didn't know if I was going to like it, but I like this against the gray tone. I think this looks nice, and this warm brown tone right here. I think that looks really good. It really pops. I think I'm going to get rid of the green tone one. I don't know yet, but this blue is really nice. I also got a different blue one. I wanted to start bringing a bit of blue into my home. And this color, it's like, here, I'll just open it. This design was called. It just says pillow cover, but it has like this vintage feel to it. $15.99. It was like $7.99. I don't know. Put it over that one. I love this texture. It literally feels like a rug. I don't know. It has really good texture, and I like the mismatched color situation like this i don't know vintagey looking mosaic medallion i don't know i like that a lot i think that looks good and then you have a plain backing to it but those are my new pillow covers <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this short little video yeah there's the blue and white one here is the gray textured one with the tassels i love that one so much and then we have this vintage carpet look <laughs> with the blues. It has like three different or two different blues and a white and a light gray in there. Really, really like that one too. Really pops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, pillow situation. I will be updating some more of my pillows, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because I don't know if I'll do this on camera or anything. Here are the that I've collected over time. And I just really like the stripes. This gives me like kind of a vintage feel with the, the faded tan stripes. I don't know. I really like, really like that one. It's pretty neutral. Then we have this gray woven texture, which I love. This one I'm going to make into an actual pillow pillow, not just a pillow cover, because it's 
it's too, the, I don't have enough fabric to make an actual pillow cover, so I'm just going to use what I do have and make it, make its own pillow. The rest I'll make covers. This fabric is really durable. It's like denim almost. I don't really know if this was like to make, um, to upholster chairs or something. It's really thick. Well, anyways, love it. It has a bit of a blue tone with, uh, cream which I think will really look nice with the new blue pieces I got. Then we have another one that's just gray, but I love the texture. They just feel so good. And this texture is amazing. This is just like an off black, almost a dark gray charcoal color. And you can see again, that this is really thick fabric. So I've never worked with it. So hopefully off camera, I'm going to like sew up some pillow covers. And if you guys haven't checked out any of my pillow cover videos, I will link those below so you can kind of know how to make your own. I'm going to do these off camera and then I'll show you guys exactly what my pillow covers are looking like. So we are at Pokagon State Park for my stepmother's birthday and we decided to go sledding. It was so much fun. This was back in February. <laughs> I think it was the weight. <laughs> Here goes John and Bridget. You want me to push you? Hold on, hold on, not yet. Tell me when. You guys are gonna go so I'll fast. take one. <laughs> <laughs> right to the trees. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, her leg went under the sled. Did you have fun? Yeah. Watch him. I can barely see him through the bush. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hope's going by herself. I feel like the sled's gonna go sideways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here goes dad by himself. I went flying. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Come back and try again. Oh man. Control him. Because Aaron. Not very good. Forgot to hit record. Uh, man, my back! <laughs> So I just pulled up to my brother Aaron's. There's Aaron in the window. Hope. Hi. Meow meow. I pow pow cat meow. I got a surprise for you guys. Open your eyes. <laughs> it's a unicorn. It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> you did, Paisley. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. 
Look at Paisley. Hey, it's Tim and Kylie, your K105 morning show. I'm getting it. It's like the one that I got inside because it has the same one. Is someone finally using their bed? <laughs> <laughs> okay, really?